I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I've been gone for five whole days. And I was in Missouri, and I wasn't able to do my, um, my videos there. So I'm back now, and I'm at my home where the fast internet is, so I can do a video for you today. And I'm so, so happy! Do you see my face? Does it look happy to you? <laughs> oh my heavens. Ah, you guys have something to drink? You want to sit and talk a minute? I have the best news. The best news. Not the best twos. The best news <laughs> to tell you guys. You know, sometimes life gets a little rough. And it's been a little rough the last few days. Um, somebody that's really dear to Jerry and I that runs one of our stores um, got very, very ill and had to go to the hospital. And she's been in the hospital since the weekend. And so we were uh, in Missouri and uh, she wasn't able to get back to the store. And, and so, so far it's, it's not a problem, but she's still in the hospital. So if y'all think of it and you have a minute, say a prayer for Candy that she will get well real soon and be able to come back to work. And, um, then our other manager, our other store is on vacation in Hawaii. <laughs> so, of all times, for Jerry and I to be gone for five days, that wasn't the best time. But, um, you probably remember we went up there to get Jerry's boat that's been in the shop for nine weeks being fixed. Remember, he got a boat for his birthday back in September, and then it had problem one, problem two, problem three, problem four, till it was ridiculous. So, Jerry finally uh, convinced him to fix all the issues with it. And they said, oh, just bring it back here and we'll just fix it up for you. Well, they didn't bother to say, um, it's gonna take us nine weeks to fix it and while we're fixing it, we're gonna screw some other stuff up. <laughs> so, anyway, to make a long story short, um, that boat's history, another boat's being prepared and so the boat issue's still not done with. But anyway, <laughs> We are back, and uh, so I've been kind of blue. I was in tears yesterday. It was like this boat thing's never gonna end. <laughs> and we were staying with some friends that barely know us. I mean, they know us now. I probably wish they didn't. But um, we were staying with them, and we were only supposed to be there overnight. And we ended up being there Wednesday night, Thursday night, Friday night, Saturday night, and Sunday night. And you know, they probably thought, dear Lord, are these people ever leaving? <laughs> We finally did leave. We had a real good time. They were very sweet, very hospitable. We had a very good time. And she and I were able to teach each other things. And I'll do another blog post on that about what she taught me and what I taught her. But I have something else I want to tell you today. I was sewing this morning. I cut out a blouse while I was at Deb's house. We were doing SureFit Designs and I was helping her do a SureFit Designs with her SureFit Designs dress kit. And of course, you know, once it was out and on the table, I couldn't just like look at it and not draw myself a pattern. <laughs> so I drew myself a pattern and cut it out. Well, it got to the point where I needed buttons for it. And so I just folded it all out and put it in the suitcase and brought it back. So this morning I got it out of the suitcase. And I thought, oh, surely I've got some buttons around here for it. So I started looking in all the drawers and, and the cabinets and stuff. And I ended up needing seven buttons because uh, I made it a little different. And it's longer in the front. It needs some more buttons. And I'll show it to you when I get it done, of course. But um, I needed seven buttons. And I thought, oh. I need to go to Hancock's. Do you all remember the Hancock's nightmare back, oh, probably September, uh, when I went to Hancock's and it was so, so horrible. Half the lights were burned out. Bolts from shelves had fallen off onto the floor and the people that worked there were just walking over them. The manager, half her head was bald, remember? And I'm sure it was her friend, Candace, worked there. And Candace was very rude, did not wear a name tag, would not tell me what her name was, told me they didn't have what I was looking for. I knew they did have it because they just bought it the day before. And so then I went and I asked the bald manager, and she said, we don't need any trouble here. You remember that story? So I decided I'm never going back. I'm never going back. It's horrible. I can't stand it. So um, I was here this morning and needed those buttons. <clears throat> and there's Candy. Hey, let's see what the status is. He said, I'm looking much better. Probably go home tomorrow. Praise God forevermore. Isn't God good? Oh my gosh. We've been
been praying. Even our friends Deb and Jim prayed. And praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. That's wonderful, wonderful news. She's texting me from the hospital. So, um, anyway, where was I? <laughs> Hancock, so I was never, never, never going to go back. So this morning, I need these buttons, and I think, well, you know, how bad could it be? Surely I can find the buttons by myself. Surely I won't need to ask anybody for help. I'll just go back this one time, because Hancock's is three miles from me. Joanne's is 25 miles from me, so, you know. It just seems silly to go that far for buttons. So I drove up there and I parked out front and I walked in the door. I was going to wear my sunglasses. I thought, you know, I probably should wear my sunglasses and go incognito, like wear a scarf or something. But I didn't because then I wouldn't be able to see and it's already so dark in there. So I walked in the door and the first thing I noticed is it's like sunny. Okay, everybody, a <laughs> short skip there. My battery went dead and I had to answer my text. Anyway, I don't know where I was, but I went in, all the lights were bright. And all of the fabric was up where it belonged and everything was neat, neat, neat. And not only that, everything was on sale. 50 off, 30 off, 40 off, all the notions off, all the quilting notions off, everything, all the patterns. Oh, it was wonderful. So then I thought, oh my gosh, I wonder if that bald lady's still here. <laughs> so I looked around. I didn't see Candace, and I didn't see the bald lady, uh, whose name I can't remember. But I saw a young, real nice girl, no tattoos, no body piercings, no weird clothes. I thought, oh, she looks really nice. Then I saw this other uh, African-American lady with long hair, and she had hair on both sides of her head. <laughs> and her hair was long and curly, and she was very nice looking, very well dressed. I thought, all right. This is looking up. <laughs> so um, I wandered around, started looking at all the stuff on sale, and then I, I pulled up on my uh, cell phone the Hancocks app. And in the background, in the store, in the music, you can hear them saying, go to Hancocks.com and look up our coupons, blah, blah, blah. So I did, and they had a whole list of coupons. They had a 50 off and a 40 off and a 20 off of everything and a uh, extra 50 off of something already on sale. I don't know what all they were. And by the way, today's day, you're going to go, well, when on earth are you saying this, lady? Um, it is Tuesday, February 16, 2016. 2 16, 16 okay? So, if you're listening to this, don't go running to Hancock's thinking they're still having a sale. <laughs> and the sale's over today. So, anyway, I walked around and I have been wanting to buy more fabrics to make blouses with because all the blouses that I originally made with Sure Fit Designs are all too big for me now. So I went over and I found, I don't know, four or five different fabrics and a couple knits that were all on sale. And so I walked up to the cutting table and I thought, oh, I hope that Candace doesn't come up here. <laughs> but she didn't. Another really nice lady came up, and I, I started telling her, I said, Oh my gosh, the store's so light and bright, all the lights are fixed, and everything looks so nice in here. I said, um, is that, I said, is that same lady with the bald head still the manager? <laughs> and she said, no, I don't think so. And I said, are you new here? And she said, well, I came in October. And I thought, October, okay. I thought, well, that makes sense, because it was probably September when I was there. So then she went ahead and she cut out my fabric, carried on a conversation with me, looked me in the eye, was very friendly, very normal, <laughs> very nice. Uh, and um, then I walked over to the cash registers <clears throat> and there wasn't anybody at the cash registers because the girl, the African American girl with the pretty long curly hair and the other younger girl were both cutting fabric, but which by the way, there was a line at both sides with the girls cutting fabric, which was a good sign, because, you know, some of these handcuffs are going out of business. So, uh, I was standing there, and it, it was only 30 seconds, and this other lady came up, and she was probably, I don't know, 45, 50, and very nice-looking lady with a real short haircut, and she had hair on both sides of her head, <laughs> and very nicely dressed, and it turns out she was the manager. And so I started telling her how impressed I was with how nice the store looked. And I said, I swore. I said, last time I was in here, she said, when was that? I said, I don't know. It's been five or six months ago. But I said, 
Last time I was in here, it was so horrible. Half the lights were burned out. It was dark in here. I said the manager was horrible to me. The girl that worked for her, I think they were best friends. She was horrible to me. She said, yes, they were friends. And she said, when I took over in October, I had the pleasure of firing both of them. Ah! How wonderful. I said, I wish I'd been here so I could have helped you. <laughs> so anyway, for all of those of you who may have heard me badmouth Hancocks. I want you to know that today I have nothing but good things to say. Actually, I went to Hancocks while I was in Springfield, Missouri, and they had a darling, darling young manager there, too. And everybody there was helpful, friendly. They had a guy working there. Very, very friendly. Talk to the customers, help the customers. I mean, what a novel idea. And I had told that lady, you know, how much I uh, enjoyed shopping at her store and thanked her for helping me and told her about the one in Edmond. And so now um, I won't have to tell anybody that story anymore because it's over with. Oh, and I have to tell you the best part. Look what I bought. <laughs> look, look how they suffered for six months. Look how much I bought. See, just think. That manager, that new manager told me, she said, the day I started, she said, the first couple of weeks I started here, she said, every customer that came in here told us about these horrible people that worked here and how rude they were. So, just for those of you who think, oh, you're just impossible and you don't like anybody, I wasn't the only one, okay? All right, I'm going to show you what I got. For those of you who think it's interesting to see what I buy. <laughs> this is knit. And I bought two pieces. And I usually can't wear green. I can only wear green if it's bright, bright green, like grass. So I decided to do some color blocking. Maybe. <laughs> I don't know, but maybe. And I'm going to put, this is another knit, exactly the same thing. And I decided I might color block and put these two pieces together. Huh? Is that bright? Is that exciting? Let me see. I guess you'd say this one is a plum. And this one is a bright green. Lime green, I guess you would say. And I'm going to take the stickers off of that. Because if you put the stickers in the wash, it's really, really hard to get them off again. And then I bought a bunch of Notions. Half price on the freight check. Half price on the press cloth. Half price on the other press cloth. And then the buttons were 30% off, but a whole bunch of them had these pink stickers on them. See, this set, these were $1.10, that says $0.35. Cents. These were $4, and they say $0.25. Cents. Oh my goodness, how fun is that? These were a dollar, and they're $0.35, but $4 to $0.25, cents? and I thought those were so cute. Those dimes, so I got, I just started grabbing things with pink stickers, and then it was another 30% off of the pink sticker price. So I got all these buttons to put in my stash for such a good price. More buttons. Needles half price. Oh, and so half price on all this stuff, and then an extra 20% off, or maybe it was an extra 25% off when I checked out. Oh my goodness. Fabulous sale today. And then I bought some fabrics. Everything in my closet goes with black, you guys. <laughs> I just love black, obviously. So I'm making myself buy fabrics that don't have black in them. That I can wear with blue jeans. And so I won't have to wear black jeans every day in my life. So I got this green. Another bright green. Wear that on St. Patrick's Day. This is just cotton to make blouses with, with my Sure Fit Designs. This is just a cotton. These were all 30% off plus an extra 20% off. And then this for blue jeans. Huh? How fun is that? Oh my goodness, and I've got a brand new pattern that fits me and I can just make them up. I bet by Monday I'll have those all three made. You watch. And then this one I bought just because I think it's gorgeous. Even though, yes, it's black, but it has all of this khaki or beige in it, and I can wear it with beige pants. So I really do love this one. This looks like wallpaper. <laughs> I just think it's really pretty. And it's got all of these um, 
swirly things like you use when you quilt. So I really like that. And I have to hurry up. This video is getting so long. Let me see what else did I get. Look at my tickets, you guys. Look at, look at how happy I am when people are nice to me at their business. Look here. <laughs> how amazing. And all of this, listen, let me tell you what I spent. On all this stuff, and the tax was almost $10. And my total was $128.78. Not bad, huh? Hot iron cleaner. More buttons. More buttons, more buttons, more buttons. And thread. Thread for the colors I didn't think I would have. And the bag is empty. And this is the blouse that's in the other room that I'm getting ready to put buttons on. So, I'm going to upload this so you guys can see it on YouTube. And then I'm going to go finish my blouse. And maybe, if I'm still in town, I'll make another video tomorrow. So, bye.